Pence said he is a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order. Again, he just wrapped up his remarks a short time ago. He was the headliner of the evening, but his opening acts included some of Florida's most influential Republican leaders. My name is Rick Scott, governor of the great state of Florida. Florida's moment on the convention stage came Wednesday night when Governor Rick Scott thanked the country for its continued prayers following the Orlando massacre. I cried with the grieving moms and dads and brothers and sisters of the 49 people slaughtered by the ISIS inspired terrorists. This war is real, it is here in America, and the next president must destroy this evil. Governor Scott says Donald Trump is the man for the job, even if he's a little rough around the edges. We need a president who is politically incorrect and will tell it like it is. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, who accepted donations from Trump and whose office decided not to pursue legal action against Trump University despite dozens of complaints, also addressed the RNC. Hillary will stack the Supreme Court with liberal justices who will allow government to continue its rampage against our individual rights with utter contempt for our Second Amendment. Some of the state's 99 delegates once supported Marco Rubio for president. Now, Senator Rubio has jumped on the so-called Trump train, expressing his support, yet still keeping his distance with this video message. After a long and spirited primary, the time for fighting each other is over. It's time to come together and fight for a new direction for America. It's time to win in November. Rubio is among a handful of senators from across the country who decided not to come here to Cleveland and instead focus on their Senate campaigns back in their home states. Of course, tomorrow, the final night of the Republican National Convention, when Donald Trump will take the stage to accept his party's nomination, we'll be here for it all. Live in Cleveland, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News, tonight.